Hey everybody, I'm Lance Goyke. Today we're going to discuss rest periods for aerobic intervals. Now, interval training is, you know, we were just talking about this this week in the home here. <laughs> um, interval training is really vague. It doesn't really tell me much, right? So I could do, you know, Tabata intervals. that are 20 seconds of work and 10 seconds of rest. And Yes, I'm getting incomplete work, but I'm also supposed to try really hard during that. So the interval becomes very, very anaerobic. If I half asked 2010 intervals, then, you know, my intensity starts to decrease and it's no longer anaerobic and then it becomes aerobic. So I want to talk about the rest period side of things, but we have to understand that there is an intensity side of things as well. Okay, so now that we've established that, for an aerobic interval, the, the rest period is determined by the work period and by the intensity of your exercise. So if, if you have pretty intense exercise, um, it, it can't go into a lactic anaerobic area because otherwise I'm starting to get away from the, you know, I can still, I still have demand on the aerobic system, but I have lactic byproduct buildup. And so the, the primary goal of the body is not, I mean, it is to keep the, uh, the aerobic system going, but it, it's mostly to clear out the anaerobic byproducts that are building up. So when I think aerobic, I, I might think like the easiest interval that I think of is a 30-30. Now, if I'm doing 30 seconds of work, it's, if I go really, really hard, it's definitely anaerobic. It's lactic anaerobic. But if I go at a nice moderate pace, if I say, hey, I'm going to try like a 7 out of 10 intensity, not a 9 or 10 out of 10 intensity, then it becomes aerobic. And then I just I leisurely move on to my next exercise or I leisurely uh, rest during, you know, and if this is just an interval on a bike or a machine or something like that. Um, and then during that the 30 seconds, I kind of come down a little bit and then I try hard again for another 30 seconds. So this, this is a lot harder to teach than I thought it would be. <laughs> um, let's let's throw another example. Let's say 10 seconds of work, 50 seconds of rest. So again, that is anaerobic, um, but it is not lactic anaerobic and predominantly like most of this uh, exercise is 50 seconds of rest during that rest um, my training my stimulus is very aerobic my aerobic system is pumping up trying to recover from everything so even though my work period is not predominantly aerobic because remember all these systems are working at the same time even though my 10 seconds of work is very alactic anaerobic, my 50 seconds of rest and the accumulation of this exercise on round six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10 is very aerobic. So I can think about it that way. Um, let's give another example. One minute on, one minute off. If it's the hardest minute of work of your life, it is not aerobic. But if it is kind of easy, then one minute on, one minute off can be super normal. Um, again, you're not trying to push to muscular fatigue on aerobic work. You're trying to push to something that you can maintain. So that would be like anaerobic threshold or lower, right? Because if I cross my anaerobic threshold, my fatigue starts to build up and I can't recover from it. I start to, you know, super fatigue or gas out. Um, let's give another example. I like three minutes on, three minutes off. So I use this, especially if I'm on a machine that doesn't change intensity very easily. Um, and, and it's kind of a pain. So then I'll just do three minutes and then change and then do three minutes. I like one minute, one minute, because I think I stay more interested in what I'm doing. But three minutes, three minutes works really well uh, for situations like that. Let's think about um, one minute hard, two minutes easy. Similar stuff. It's going to be the same kind of idea. Anytime my um, anytime my work period is between that like 
10 second and two minute period, I can't really push as hard as possible because I will tap into a lot of lactic anaerobic energy. So that's kind of our threshold there. That's where we need to keep the intensities kind of lower. Um, and then one minute, you know, you, for your rest, you just try to keep moving. You clear out as much as you can, and then you turn it back up again for two minutes of work. That's not an interval that I use particularly that often, um, but that's just, a, it's the thought experiment, right? This is how we would make this interval aerobic. Last one that I want to say is just continuous movement. So if I don't ever rest, if I can just keep moving continuously, then yeah, that's super aerobic. And that's, you know, the purest, easiest way to look at it. Hopefully that's not too confusing. Hopefully this thought experiment was a little bit helpful. If it's not, please leave a clarifying question below. If you didn't like it, you can just hit the dislike button. That's fine. Um, thanks for watching.